Mac Mini, what do I think about it? Well, for one thing, it is the cheapest Mac and it starts at $599. I mean, that's amazing for an Apple computer. For those who don't know, the Mac Mini is the smallest of the Apple desktop computers and it's actually very good. It recently got the M4 chip and the M4 Pro chip and in some cases, it actually outperforms the Mac Studio. And it's actually five inches by five inches by two inches. That's amazing, it got the newest technology. Considering it's the smallest one, it's probably easier for Apple to release the newer versions faster, which makes sense in a way because they have less to worry about inside. But it's not lacking in power, it's actually amazing. It has a 10 core CPU, a 10 core GPU, a 16 core neural engine, and it has 16 gigabytes of unified memory. It's so small, it basically looks like the shrunken version of the Mac Studio. And in some cases, it actually beats the Mac Studio with the M2 Ultra chip and with its M4 Pro chip. And that's the crazy part, but at the same time, it actually makes sense because M4 is Apple's newest computer chip. So it would only make sense that the newer modern technology would beat the older M2 technology. Apple got better at making these chips just like they do every single year. The chips are better. so. It would make sense that such a small computer with the newest chip could outperform a big computer with the older chip. Maxed out with the base M4 Pro chip, you can actually get 32 gigabytes of unified memory, a 10 gigabit Ethernet port, and you have Apple Intelligence, which actually comes base, so you don't have to upgrade it, and it costs $1,899. The max storage with the base M4 chip actually is two terabytes. Now, the M4 Pro, like I said before, outperforms the M2 Ultra in some cases. It's actually very, very good, and it starts at $1,399. The base M4 Pro chip has a 12-core CPU, a 16-core GPU, a 16-core neural engine, and it has 24 gigabytes unified memory. The M4 and the M4 Pro base comes with a Ethernet port, but like I said with the M4 chip, you can actually upgrade that to a 10 gigabit Ethernet port. But the M4 Pro chip has 512 gigabytes of base storage. After maxing out the M4 Pro chip, you get 64 gigabytes of unified memory, a 14 core CPU, 20 core GPU, and you still have that same basic 16 core neural engine, and you get that 10 gigabit ethernet port that I was talking about just now. It also has eight terabytes of storage, and it costs $4,699. I mean, that's not really budget anymore, but at the same time, that's for those who wanna max it out. The base one is, Still, like I said before, $599. Now, when you have a computer that's five inches by five inches by two inches, you can obviously fit it in a bag if you're traveling and you don't wanna use your laptop or something, or you're just not a laptop user. And you can easily fit it into a bag. You can fit it into a coat pocket, depending how big your coat pocket is. I could fit into my coat pocket, that I will say. And it's, when I say it's so small, and in some cases it's so almost unnoticeable. And like I said earlier, the M4 Pro actually beats the M2 Ultra Mac Studio in some cases. One of those cases is web browsing. Because it's more modern, it's more snappier when you're web browsing and you're opening up apps. It opens up those apps faster and it actually comes very close to beating the Mac Studio in Lightroom exports. That's obviously because the new M4 chips have more modern and better technology. So obviously when the Mac Studio gets the M4 chips, it's definitely gonna be way better and it's gonna go back to outperforming it completely. In some cases like Final Cut Pro exports, it still dominates like, when I say it dominates, sometimes it's two times faster when exporting a five minute video. And the GPU is, it's two times the Mac Mini's GPU. At the front of the Mac Mini, you have two USB-C ports and a headphone jack. At the bottom, you have the fan vent, and at the top is just the Apple logo. At the back, you have three Thunderbolt 4 ports, the Ethernet port, and the HDMI port. And obviously, 
the power port. If you have any questions for me, you can put it down in the comments. It doesn't even have to be about the Mac Mini. It could be about what I use to edit my videos. It could be about anything. Just not too personal, obviously. But getting back to the Mac Mini, these days, when you take tech from the past, like you take computers like what the iMac used to look like, and then you compare it to the tech of today, how much smaller it is, how much faster it is, how much more modern, Sometimes you have to marvel at all of this and realize how far we've come when it comes to this technology thing and Our lives have gotten a lot better with this tech thing and I'm kind of excited to see what 2025 is gonna have for us cuz Tech gets better every single year even though in some cases like smartphone cases It's usually just a little bit better, but it's still better So I did mention two videos ago that the Mac mini was for those who need light video editing tasks like for example for final cut pro it's it's you don't really see much lag in it but i'm not saying that if you're using it like continuously continuously with no break that it won't get lag it will get some lag especially if you have background rendering on but with background rendering off it's actually amazing for such a small computer i i said that i don't think i can stress that enough it's so much more budget friendly than any other Apple computer. It's it's even more budget friendly than the iMac and the MacBook Pro, which has the same chip as it, which is actually something to marvel at because something so small with the same chip, in some cases it's way faster than the two more expensive bigger, one, bigger ones. Usually when you hear more expensive, you usually think better, but in this Mac mini case, that's not the case. That was it for this video. Please share this video with somebody who you know will enjoy it if you enjoyed it. And please like and subscribe. Once again, comment down below any questions you may have as long as they're not too personal. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.